Hey guys, welcome back to Tea Talk Tuesday. Okay, this week we're going to talk about something that sort of piggybacks off of our discussion from last week. And so if you were able to watch last week's Tea Talk Tuesday, we talked a lot about gut health and how certain ingredients um, can really help with our overall gut health, balancing the good and the ba bad bacteria in our guts, helping with indigestion problems and things like that. And so this week I want to talk about basil seeds. And you may or may not have heard of basil seeds before. Oftentimes we hear a lot of flax seeds and chia seeds, but very rarely do we hear um, about basil seeds. So I wanna to talk to you about basil seeds and all of the health benefits that they offer, and then explain to you how Sipology uses basil seeds in their bubbly teas, which make it a great sweet treat or a snack for us to incorporate into our daily nutritional regimen, or not necessarily your daily regimen, um, but we'll get to that at the end. So first and foremost, um, basil seeds are a terrific source of fiber. They are packed full of fiber. In fact, in one tablespoon of basil seeds, you get seven grams of fiber. Now, when you actually prepare a cup of the bubbly tea, you're obviously not getting a whole tablespoon of basil seeds, but you're getting a good amount. So you're getting some fiber in. One tablespoon of um, basil seeds is equivalent to 25% of the recommended daily intake for your fiber levels. So basil seeds are great to incorporate. And we know with fiber, it really helps support our gut health, right? Not to mention some studies have shown that the pectin that's in basil seeds um, can have prebiotic benefits. And we know those prebi prebiotics help increase those good gut bugs that we want inside of our health or inside of our guts, right? To balance our overall gut health. Um, fiber, with all of that fiber, basil seeds help us feel full, right? So for me, um, and hopefully for you, it's a great way to incorporate bubbly tea as a snack in the afternoon if you get those afternoon cravings because it really is going to help you feel full for quite a while and hopefully buy you time until dinner. Or you could opt for obviously a healthy snack, vegetables with hummus, things like that. Um, basil seeds also can help really regulate your blood sugar levels. They can help improve your cholesterol levels um, and they're really rich in plant compounds. So things like your polyphenols and your flavonoids, which are, have both antioxidants as well as anti-inflammatory properties um, and even anti-cancer properties. So some really good plant compounds in the basil seeds to help us with our health as well. Now, again, none of those have been um, studied, certified, whatever by the FDA, these health claims, although there is more research needed to really back these health claims up, but some studies have been done um, to show these things. So I always like to reassure people of that. I am not a doctor giving you medical advice, okay? But so basil seeds can be a great addition to your nutritional regimen. They're not going to hurt you, basically. Um, in addition to all the fiber that's packed in there, they're also a good source of minerals. So things like iron and calcium. Um, one tablespoon is equal to 15% of your recommended daily intake of calcium and 10% for your iron levels. So it's going to help with your bone health, your muscle functions, um, and it also helps with your red blood cell production. So again, basil seeds are a tremendous addition. Um, you don't hear a lot about them. It's interesting, right? So... Sipology set out to make a bubble tea. Now, when you go to your coffee shop, you've probably seen the bubble bubble teas on the menu, right? And you get them and they've got the big looking bubbles in them. Um, and when you eat those, they taste kind of like gummy bears, right? So what those are are tapioca pearls. And when those tapioca pearls are added to liquid, they expand really big. Now, the problem with the tapioca pearls is they're all starch and they have really very little nutritional value to them whatsoever. So you're not getting any nutrients out of it. So what Sipology did was tried to find an alternative for those tapioca pearls because they wanted to create a healthier version of bubble teas. So they came up with their bubbly teas using basil seeds and it's terrific because when you put the basil seeds in the liquid, the basil seeds expand just like a tapioca pearl would. Now, sometimes if you've never had bubble tea, people think of bubble teas as being like a fizzy bubble, but it's not. It's 
It's when those tapioca pearls or those basil seeds expand and they look like bubbles inside the drink. And when you eat them, they taste like gummy bears. So it's like eating, I don't know, gooey bubbles almost. Um, so that's how Sophology incorporated basil seeds into um, their products is through their um, bubbly tea line. Now, the difference between Sophology's bubbly teas and the bubble teas you're going to find in coffee shops is the coffee shop versions tend to be loaded, loaded, loaded with sugar. And again, they're using those tapioca pearls, which have little nutrient value. Um, and honestly, if you get like the big bubble teas in the coffee shops, a lot of the times they're going to be close to like 500 calories. So one serving of this is only 70 calories. So what you do with Sipology's bubbly teas is you take four teaspoons and you are going to put it into a cup. So you would put four teaspoons in here and add about a quarter cup of hot water to it. And then you let that sit for 10 minutes because you let the um, basil seeds really soak up the hot water and that's when they start to expand. And then after about 10 minutes, you fill the rest of the cup up with cold water and you have your version of a bubbly tea. Um, but what I want to do is show you what the basil seeds actually look like in here. Okay. Um, this particular one that I have is bubbly blueberry. So it has um, pineapple pieces, blueberries, basil seeds, banana, and butterfly blue pea flower. So if you can see here, you are going to see, if you can see this, you'll see all those little black things are basil seeds. And then you'll see the chunks there of the pineapple pieces and the blueberry pieces. Now, all of the fruit that's in here is freeze dried fruit. And it loses, because of the way the process they go through to freeze it, it loses very little nutrient value when they freeze it. So it's a terrific, terrific way to get fruit into your overall nutritional regimen as well. Now, all the powder that you see in there is not added sugars. It's actually um, from drying the fruit out. So it's actual real, just real fruit powder that you're consuming when you drink the Sipology bubbly teas. Um, so that is essentially basil seeds in a nutshell. Now, you are only going to find basil seeds inside of Sipology's bubbly tea line right now. They don't have it in any of their other teas. Um, I like to use the bubbly teas as a snack, especially on those days where maybe I've had my, my breakfast, I've had my smoothie from my workout, maybe I've had lunch, but I'm still feeling hungry. Um, so it's a great afternoon snack that keeps me full until dinner time or if we have to eat an early dinner and i know that we're gonna have a long window before bed incorporated around six or seven um if you so for for us we don't drink anything here except for tea the occasional coffee um and water once in a blue moon will we consume soda but we don't buy it um it's only when we're out so the kids drink well my daughter only drinks water my son likes to drink um, juice, but again, we limit how much juice he can drink. But these are great if you do like juice-flavored drinks. Um, they're another great option for that. I don't have the catalog in front of me to give you all of the different kinds that we have, but it's the bubbly tea line. You can go in and find it on the website. Um, but again, it's got those basil seeds in here, which just makes it a great, great um way to enjoy and add the, the health benefits of basil seeds into your, your overall diet. So I hope that you guys found that helpful. Um, if you have any questions about anything whatsoever, if you have questions about the bubbly teas, the other thing I want to tell you about the bubbly teas, if you don't want to consume it as just a drink, you could actually use the bubbly teas for lots of other things. You could make, put them into smoothies, um, popsicles, you could make it put it in yogurt you could make an overnight pudding and just soak it in your favorite maybe like almond milk overnight and turn it into a pudding because what happens when those basil seeds expand is they get bigger you can actually eat all of the dried fruit and the basil seeds with a spoon so you would enjoy this as a drink 
you could enjoy it with a big wide straw. But then when you get to the bottom and you have all that stuff sitting there, the fruit and the stuff that doesn't come through the straw, take a spoon and enjoy it and eat every little bit of it. And after it's been soaking for a while, it is delicious. So that is basil seeds. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, like I said, let me know. All right. Thanks, guys.